Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to perform simple select operation with the help of your entity data model in entity framework. Here I have a grid view with me called as GRD department and I want to load all the departments into this grid view in my page load event. I will just right click and say view code. I have my page load event. I want to get all the departments in the page load. So, as I told you, I need to add this namespace that we have added already and I need to create the object of entity class that is context class object. So, I will say organization entities OE equals to new organization entity. If I look into the organization entities, I should have a property. object set properties in this i have a property called as tbl department which gives me all the departments which returns a collection of all the departments so the name of the property is tbl department which is available in organization entities class so anyway these are the interiors we need not to worry about it much as of now so it is very simple i'll say grid view department dot data source is equals to oe dot department if you see the return type it is collection of departments and i'll say dot to list and i'll say grid department dot data bind That's it. Single line of code will give you all the departments in the grid. I'll just say so I get all the departments. If I want to display all the employees, again that is very simple. I'll say dot TBL employee. That's it. I'll save this and I'll say file. It should display all the employees from employee table in the grid view. So I have currently single employee. Now I'll set it back to the department. To display all the departments from the department table. In the grid view, this is what you need to do create the object of organization entities and try to call tbl underscore department property and convert it to list this is all about a simple select statement thank you very much